Hi, in this video, we will briefly discuss Cycles. Cycles is a rendering engine created by the Blender Foundation team. It is a physically based render engine. A physically based render engine simulates realistic shading and lighting to accurately represent real world materials. So it comes as no surprise as physically based rendering is used in photorealistic rendering. That is, rendering that is so believable and so convincing that you believe that it is definitely a photo. So the great thing about Cycles is it can help you create photorealistic rendering without that much effort. And it's all free. You can even view some of your renderings in real time using your video graphics card. The Cycles rendering engine is actually a modern rendering engine and is actually used to phase out the old Blender render which used to be a non-photorealistic rendering engine. The Cycles rendering engine does have a few flaws. Uh, it is a little bit slow. And that is one of the things about physically based rendering. It can be a little bit slow to render. I remember that a single frame from one of my movies took four to six hours to render. So it can be very, very slow, but at the end, it can help you produce really awesome looking results. The Cycles rendering engine can also clog up your CPU and your GPU depending on which one you use. However, the Cycles rendering engine is fairly new. There is a general feeling that the Cycles rendering engine does need to iron out some kinks. However, it is fairly new. Uh, it was used to replace the old Blender rendering engine, which was the rendering engine before Cycles, um, until Cycles came along two years ago and replaced it. So it is a pretty young rendering engine. It does uh, lack some features compared to the more commercial, physically based render engines. However, development is very active and I'm sure in a few years time uh, that the Cycles rendering engine will be way beyond powerful than you expect. Having said that, it doesn't really mean that it is unusable. It can create some awesome renderings at the moment and you can do a lot of, lot of stuff with it. So to actually set Blender to render using the Cycles rendering engine, when you open up a new Blender scene, such as what we have over here, all you have to do is you have to go over to this combo box and change from Blender Render, which was the old rendering engine, to the Cycles Render. So now it is ready to render using the Cycles Render Engine. So when I press F12, our scene renders using the Cycles Rendering Engine. To carry out real-time rendering with the Cycles Render Engine, you just have to change the shader type from Solid to Rendered. And now we can see in real-time what our scene looks like. So this is with the lighting and everything applied. We can see our cube being rendered in real-time. But be aware that it can clog up your CPU a little bit and can sometimes render a little bit slowly if you have so much objects going on with a lot of lighting. If that is the case, you can always change over to the GPU. I hope this video has been useful to you, and in the next video, we will look at Cycles Shaders.